so happy we alive. Something like uh, the Odyssey of going from one one adventure to another, from one from one dragon's lair to another area of uh, <laughs> of challenges that I feel up to. I feel that I've learned sufficiently as to how things work that maybe I'll, I'll stay out of captivity for a while and maybe I'll be able to be in practice a few years longer and uh, see some of the ideas that I have come to even more fruition. For example, I want to do at home biomonitoring of comparative efficacy of different preparations. Mm -hmm. uh, hook, <clears throat> hooking up to uh, electrodes for brain waves, um, electromyograph, um, thermistor, electrocardiograph, and have this uh, mixed with video. <clears throat> and um, connected over the internet to um, computers that analyze the responses and be able to send different products to the person at home to have them try out that they monitor they're monitored in this collaborative pharmaceutical research mm -hmm. that will be able to do comparative efficacy studies much more quickly and efficiently using this application of the internet I'm proposing. And so that's just one of my little schemes that I'm working on and actually having people listen to me. It's lonely, I, I don't deny that. Being in this extramural position where I'm not part of an academic institution and again doing a throwback to the 19th century scientist of being well-rounded and uh, not being afraid to participate like the archaeologists that discovered all sorts of things that were not officially trained like my hero William B. O'Shaughnessy, who brought cannabis to Western medicine, because it was he who <clears throat> didn't hesitate to consort with the dissolute and depraved in India to learn about the therapeutic actions of cannabis that do you want to say anything more about him? I don't know how familiar people are with. He brought the cannabis to Western medicine. He when was, was this? 1839. And uh, this was picked up and disseminated throughout Scotland, England, Europe, and then America. And um, he's credited with the seminal work to. Uh, introduce cannabis to Western medicine that he is uh, referred to by all of the the 19th century and early 20th century uh, physicians and scientists he was knighted not for this but for uh, bringing the telegraph to India he uh, was a contemporary of uh, Samuel Morse and uh, developed the telegraph at the same time and had a he had a different code that it was in competition with Morse code which won out but um, O'Shaughnessy oversaw the stringing of uh, the telegraph to connect all the administrative centers in India. It was knighted when 
a garrison at Sepoy was saved from a rebellion when he got the signal, when the telegraph uh, operator got the signal out. So <clears throat> along all the railroad tracks in India are the telegraph lines. He retired in 1859 and disappeared from view until his death in 1889. So he was 80. I guess 82. No, 83. Born in 1806. He was in a medical class uh, at custom delivered cadavers from Burke and Hare. <laughs> and um, he um, first identified uh, the chemical composition of blood and performed the first intravenous fluid therapy in 1830. He uh, saved uh, cholera victims through this uh, analysis of blood in healthy people as compared with people that died from cholera and figured out what the difference was. and. Uh, gave the first electrolytes by vein and saved uh, cholera victims. That led to his getting a contract with the British East India Company and he was sent to India to try to cope with their chronic cholera epidemic problems. And after that didn't, that wasn't an issue anymore, he moved on to these other studies chemistry and uh, electricity. He left uh, flats in Paris to his uh, second wife and daughters, two, da two daughters, one of which uh, married the director of the Indian Telegraphy Service that succeeded him when he resigned. And I've been looking for his personal papers throughout Ireland and England. And I'll continue to follow this uh, biographic research. But uh, he was a larger than life person that didn't hesitate to be controversial and got his way. <laughs> yeah, he single handedly said, I don't want to string the telegraph. Uh, to all the administrative centers and um, convinced the, uh, the leadership to Lord Dalhousie to let him do this. And uh, it was really part of the modernization of India. And one of the positive things that the British left behind. But, um, O'Shaughnessy would approach the problem and uh, analyze it and figured out his own solution and worked at making it come true. And I'm trying to do a similar thing with the Medical Cannabis Association here in California, which is a trade organization which I've uh, helped to found and uh, continue to participate in, even in these uh, difficult conditions. Hey, what an adventure continues. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in, in why well, I love being, I feel very much at home in the Bay Area, the innovation capital of America. And uh, for you interesting people in the Midwest, nice place to come and visit, maybe even live, but you boring people, you narrow-minded, uh, People don't think very much of California. Just stay back there. Or else go to Southern California. <laughs> <laughs>